Welcome to August 8th, fourth work day of the week of the year 2010, in the midst of the week, or the middle. Well, brethren, let's get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry, our daily walk with Jesus, 229th day of the year 2010. Jesus heals a man who was born blind. I suggest you write the chapter and verse down so that you can go study it at a later time and get the whole context going clearly in your mind. My brethren, you can use the pause button down here in the corner to start and stop this video at your own leisure so that you have time to go over and find the place in your own Bible. Well, brethren, let's, with that, let's get right on over to Jesus heals a man who was born blind, and to do that, we're going to go to John chapter 9, verses 6 through 12. Then he, that is Jesus, then he spat on the ground and made mud from the spittle and smoothed the mud over the blind man's eyes and told him, Go and wash in the pool of Salaam. The word Salaam means scent. So the man went where he was sent, and washed, and came back seeing. His neighbors and others who knew him as a blind beggar asked each other, Is this the same fellow, that beggar? Some said yes, and uh, some said no. It cannot be the same man, they thought, but he surely looks like him. And the beggar said, I am that same man. Then they asked him how in the world he could see. What happened? And he told them, A man they called Jesus made mud and smoothed it over my eyes and told me to go and wash in the pool of Salaam and wash off the mud. I did, and I can see. Where is he now, they asked. I do not know, he replied. The pool of Salaam was built by Hezekiah. His workers constructed an underground tunnel from a stream outside the city walls to carry water into the city. So the people could always get water without fear of being attacked. This is especially important during times of a siege. See 2 Kings chapter 20 and verse 20. Second Chronicles chapter 32 and verse 30. Steps of Faith Jesus' miracles were meant to strengthen people's faith and lead them to believe in Jesus as the Messiah. Christ's miracles were significant, not just because of their power, but because of their purpose to help, to heal, and to point people to God. The man's simple act of faith in going to war, as Jesus instructed, resulted in his restored sight. Faith is a step between promise and assurance. Miracles seem so out of reach for the feeble faith, but every miracle, large or small, begins with the act of obedience. We may not see the solution until we take the first step of faith. Our need for daily prayer. Heavenly Father, I have been a wayward child, loving my own way and fretting too often against your will. Forgive me. I pray you, put away my sin and make me trust in as a winged baby. Faith is a gift that grows as we use it, and you hold fast to my name. I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he hath dwelt bondifully with me. Your daily walk on that narrow path will bring you eternal life with the Father and his Son. Faith is the victory. First John chapter 5 and verse 4 reads, This is the victory that has overcome the world, 
even our faith. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. Beware the tradition of men that make void the word of God. Brethren, do you make void the word of God? Do you follow the tradition of men? Do you believe in the flyaway doctrine? That he's going to fly you to heaven. The Bible doesn't say that. Go to John chapter 3 and verse 13. It says the only one going to heaven is the one who came from heaven. It says Christ came from heaven. But it go back into Genesis and says that you were made out of the dirt of the earth. That's where you come from. And if you check, every mineral that is found in the earth is needed in your own body for life. I don't say that. Your Bible's saying that. That's why he tells you to eat certain things. Brethren, do you want to go and find that narrow path to the kingdom and salvation? Then get down on your knees and repent. Ask the Father for forgiveness for you not following the word of God, but following the tradition of men. And while you're on your knees, ask for the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding of the letter that it, the good Lord gave to you that is found in your own Bible. And then believe every word of it. Well, brethren, that's it for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.